Hello, this is Geo. Hey, look what we have here. We have some rusty metal objects. Now, this is pretty simple. This is just some simple garden uh, grass shears. Uh, these, you may or may not know, these are actually weights to a double hung window. These things go inside kind of the frame and kind of help a double hung wood window to open and shut. Well, so why am I showing you these today? Well, I'm going to do a little experiment to show you how simple distilled white vinegar can actually get rid of rust like this. Now, there's a lot of products out there claiming to get rid of rust just by soaking it in it or spraying it on it. But believe it or not, simple, cheap white vinegar does a great job, and I'll show you that today. And if you do enjoy this video, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. So what we're going to do is uh, I have this old coffee can right here. We're going to uh, pour in our white vinegar and then we're just going to kind of dip these in part way. So you, uh, part of it's rusty will, will remain above the vinegar and part will be below. And we're going to check it maybe in a few hours a day, two days, three days, four days, and see what the progress of the rust removal is. Now these window weights, they're cast iron and they didn't really look very nice to begin with just because they're just uh, cheap uh, cast iron um, metal. But uh, this, these garden shears did look nice and shiny at one time and so hopefully we will see them shine again. So I think I'm just going to stick, well, first of all, let's pour the white vinegar in. I'll just put the remainder of the bottle in. One thing about white vinegar, it is natural, it is generally non-toxic, and uh, it's cheap. But it does kind of smell, so I don't know if you want to do this in your house or, or not, but there's a little bit, there's at least an inch down there, uh, so we could at least kind of experiment with that. Actually, an inch is not quite enough. I have a gallon worth, so I might as well just use it up. It is really cheap stuff. So let's just fill up at least a couple ish, inches or more there, just like that. Okay, I don't think I need both of these. I'll just uh, submerge one in and I'll just put it in just like that. So you can see it's just submerged like that. I'll take the garden shears, kind of submerge them like this. So they're in there. And then we'll just time this and check it out in a couple hours and see where it goes from there. Okay, so it's been about two hours and we'll just take a look real close. Not much of a change there. Here, let's take a look at this shear. We can definitely see that something's happening. There seems to be some kind of reaction, but the rest is still there. So we'll, we'll, we'll come back in a few hours and see what the progress is. Okay, so it's been a little longer than a few hours. It's actually been nine hours since we've originally put this in here. And looking at the weight, it looks like something's happening. At least the color seems to be changing. I'm not exactly sure what we can say about that right now. But the shears, the shears uh, still are rusty, but the rust looks like it's almost looks like it's softening, like it's reacting in some ways. But I think we're going to have to let this sit at least for uh, 24 hours. Uh, so l let's give it, let's give it a solid day, and we'll take another look. Okay, so it's been a full day, and the weight continues to slightly change colors, but not extreme. And then it does look like the rust is starting to kind of bubble up and start getting removed. So we'll, we'll keep it going. We'll visit it after two days. So after two full days. Okay, so it's been a full three days, but before we take a look, I do want you to hear something that's coming from this can. 
the vinegar is actually kind of making a bubbling sound. Now I'm going to turn off my fluorescent bulbs because they're kind of buzzing so you can hear better. Okay, so hopefully you can hear this. Can you hear that bubbling sound? So I thought that sound was kind of interesting. Clearly the vinegar is doing something, uh, either to the metal or the rust. But let's take a look after three days. So the weight looks like it. Uh, the coloration is kind of still changing. It's kind of still brown, but I think that's just the cast iron appearance of the of the of the weight and the shears. They do look a little bit better. Um, I think the remaining rust there is just a staining. I may have to just rinse this off and um, kind of wipe it off before we fully know what it looks like. But we'll give it one more full day and see what it looks like tomorrow. Okay, so day four, let's see the final results. The weight, again, you can kind of see a, a color change there and the cutter. It looks kind of similar to yesterday, but you can see that things have kind of, uh, a lot of the rust is removed. But let's, let's uh, rinse this off with water. Uh, I have a little scrubber here. I will scrub it a little bit and see what the final results after that is. Okay, so for the final result, you can see with the weight, it never really looked good, but you can definitely see uh, from kind of before and after that much, most of the rust has been removed. There is some zones like uh, in this crevice here where there's some additional rust. But if you soak uh, this longer in the vinegar, uh, that rust will most likely be removed as well. And again, this was the before example and this is the after example. Okay, and now for the grass here, you can see kind of a similar effect, kind of the... Uh, the before rust you can see here and much of the rust has been removed you do see some pitting from uh, the residual the rust that was there there's kind of more of a pitting effect also you will notice that the coating the galvanized coating um, is dull and uh, it's not really removed but it has uh, kind of been dulled up by the vinegar and so you can see it's much shinier there than here. So be aware that although the acid in the vinegar helps dissolve and remove developed rust, the acid can also rust your object if you're not careful. And they actually, uh, there's techniques by which you use vinegar to help make a patina on new metal surfaces if you want to get that rust appearance and it just basically oxidizes the surface and in this case the uh, the plating of of the shears has been oxidized and you'll never get that shininess back but we have removed a lot of the developed rust and so if I didn't want to clear coat this the, these shears and protect it from future rust you may want to uh, use a solution of water and baking soda and maybe a couple uh, tablespoons of baking soda soak it in there and that will help neutralize the acid in the vinegar and uh, slow down future rusting and there you go I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel I always try to put up new content uh, with interesting projects uh, for everyone to enjoy so I'll see you next time Bye-bye.